It is now time for Walk the Talk, where we look at the pressure points of social change and where it's outpacing our ability to adapt. It's not just America we're talking about here, because today's focus is gender parity at the United Nations. The organization recently launched Her Story, an exhibition that's aiming to promote greater representation of women in the UN by highlighting how they've shaped global culture and politics. I spoke with Maria M. M. Mejia, Colombia's ambassador to the UN, who is behind that initiative. I asked her how the election of the new UN Secretary General helped to propel her story forward. Antonio Guterres, the Portuguese, was elected our next Secretary General after 71 years. We thought we needed a woman, and now using that momentum, they committed and he committed very strongly. Using that momentum, we need more women in post of leadership in the organization that represents, uh, uh, you know, that 50-50 idea of men and women shaping the world. So this idea came because your effort to get a female Secretary General did not go as planned. Um, talk about what you learned when you went through the archives and put together this exhibit, because it was striking some of the themes that came out. We sort of uh, found out in the uh, basements of the UN, this archive of very important moments for the organization from the shaping of the world that were, were led by women. Very beginning in San Francisco in 1945, the war ended, 160 delegates, and suddenly four women appeared. They thought it were typists, so, so they told them, you go to type, or you, you know, I am a delegate, uh, some said. And they said, delegate, woman, delegate, you know, it was a big surprise. And they shaped the preamble with men and women equally in this organization, or Eleanor Roosevelt for the Declaration of Human Rights. So we found in different moments in time uh, how women shape the different moments and the different pillars of security, peace and security, of development, and of course on human rights. So it's quite interesting. So women played a critical role in the formation of the United Nations and its uh, pursuit of its ideals. Now, the new Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, was just sworn in. Uh, tell us about his commitment to advancing female parity. Well, he's had two important moments over 20 years of his political career. First, the 10 first years as uh, Prime Minister of Portugal, he had parity. It was a very rare scenario, apart from the sort of the Nordic countries, and he did it. And he did it also when he was in charge for 10 years of refugees. You know, so he has the humanity, he has the sort of the head and the heart. At the UN, like in most places now, it's only 22, reaching 22 of the leadership positions. 22. 22. I mean, so it's still very far away from parity. Even in UN uh, ambassadors, we're only uh, 37 out of 193. So still, we need to work, and he has to commit. Do you worry that the engagement and willingness to advance gender parity uh, takes a back seat when you look at the geopolitical tensions that are brewing. And here we can refer to the assassination of the Russian ambassador to Turkey or the uh, seizure of a U.S. Uh, drone by China in international waters or even Donald Trump's rhetoric. I, I hope not. I, I mean, I see trouble around the world. The geopolitics are not helping very much, but we have one of the most important leaders of that geopolitical direction, which is Angela Merkel of Germany, and she's a woman. She's running for president. Uh, so I think, I think we have to make an effort, and I think women um, will have to continue to play that role of leadership. If we are there, I think we, there are, the results could be better. I'm sure the results could be better. Yeah, sponsorship is a big part of this. And as the representative from Colombia, you worked with other sponsors, Germany, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates on this exhibition. That kind of surprised me, to be honest, because women in the Gulf states don't appear to have as many rights as men do. Is there a misperception about women's rights in, in the Gulf states? Well, it's, it's surprising. Uh, me too. I mean, how encouraging they were and how immediately reacted to my proposal, not only of the exhibit, but also of participating in the group. And what we'll do is present to the Secretary General of uh, the United Nations uh, a sort of a policy paper of what to do in the first hundred days and what to do in the middle and long term. So I, I was surprised, and you will be surprised, of the list of countries, you know, sort of ready to do something, to engage with women's uh, uh, sort of leadership positions, and from there onward, you know, which would, uh, I hope, uh, make this world better. That was my conversation with Maria Emma Mejia, Colombia's ambassador to the United Nations.